Hey everyone, today I wanted to share my voiceover mixing process for YouTube videos, TikToks, podcasts, and just general content creation. I use mostly Waves plugins, and first in the chain is almost always the Q10. It's simple and does everything I need, especially at this early stage. I like to roll off some of the low end below 85, and I'll do any balancing and cleanup, like maybe take out a little bit of the low mid buildup and give a nice gentle boost to the low end for some closeness. Next up is Vocal Rider. This plugin has a nice smooth way of making volume adjustments without sounding compressed. And I really like the way these sliders are set up because they set limits to the compression. So if you set this to minus 6 dB, it'll never compress more than 6 dB. I'm not a huge fan of upwards compression or expansion, especially at this early stage. So I'll set this upper slider to zero so it isn't pulling up. I'll set the target to zero and this lower slider to minus six, like I mentioned above. I'll adjust the sensitivity slider until some of the louder parts start moving the fader and the lower parts are mostly left alone. Next I go for the CLA-2A, classic opto vocal compressor, and I'll aim for about 2 to 3 dB of reduction here, but I'm okay with it working harder and digging in a bit more for some louder sections. The last moves here are the finishing touches, getting it up to the right volume with a Waves L2 limiter, and to gauge my volume, I'm putting a WLM loudness meter at the end of the chain, so it's going to go L2 into the loudness meter, which isn't doing anything to the sound, it's just giving me a nice readout of the volume. I'll keep the loudness meter open while adjusting the L2 with a target of minus 16 luffs. I find that to be the sweet spot of volume without having to compress too hard, especially for single voiceover tracks. Now YouTube recommends minus 14 luffs, but that's a spec for music, and so it's considering a fully mastered track with drums and a full arrangement, so for voiceovers I shoot for minus 16 luffs with a peak of minus 0.5 dB. So to achieve that, I'll set the ceiling on the L2 to minus 0.5 dB so it doesn't go over, and I'll adjust the threshold until I'm hitting minus 16 luffs on the loudness meter. If I've done enough leveling with the stages of compression earlier from the vocal rider through the CLA-2A, I shouldn't really need to limit more than the occasional peak here and there to hit my loudness target. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you learned something, consider checking out my YouTube channel and subscribing for more music production, audio engineering, and music business videos.